Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. I'm recording this video actually specifically to say thank you to all of you for trusting in me and for subscribing to my channel for your encouragement. I now have 1000 subscribers, which is a milestone, I guess. And I hope this will be just a start for more and more lessons and more and more learning for you and more success as well. Um, so thank you very, very much for this. And I'm going to say this not just in English, in Arabic as well. Shukran ktir. Shukran. Shukran means thank you. Ktir means very or a lot. So when I say shukran ktir, it means thank you very much. So let's learn different ways of saying thank you in Lebanese Arabic because we just don't only say thank you, just the normal and plain way. We have many different expressions through which we express um, thankfulness or maybe gratitude. So the first one, as I said, is shukran. I can also say shukran for all of you. Min kil albi. Min kil albi. Min means of or from. Kil means all. And alb means heart. And when I say albi means my heart. So shukran min kil albi. Thank you from all my heart. I can also say I thank you from all my heart as a verb, basically. So the way to say that is bishkirkun, bishkirkun. So the verb bishkur alone means I thank. Bishkirkun with the kun in the end means you in the plural. So bishkirkun when I'm saying thank you to all of you guys. But if I want to say thank you to one person, I say bishkrak. If it's a guy, bishikrak. And in the feminine form, I say bishikrik, bishikrik. But you notice the verb on its own is bishkur. But when I'm adding the ak sound in the end, I'm not saying bishkur ak, no, bishkurak or bishkurik. I'm making the sound o disappear and I'm actually saying bishikrak or bishikrik. I thank you. Bishkrak min kil albi or bishkrik min kil albi. I thank you from all my heart. Another way to say thank you, the Lebanese way, is the French Lebanese way. Merci. Merci ktir. We can add the ktir to say thank you very much. Merci ktir. But also, you notice we don't say it like the French people say it, usually like R merci. No, we say it the Lebanese French way. Merci. Merci ktir. Of course, there are people who go R merci to sound more Frenchy, but generally speaking, most people will say merci, merci ktir. The next way to say thank you is uh, merci ala or merci a. You're just mentioning what, you are thankful for what, okay? So merci ala el ahwe, for example, and you pronounce it merci ala el ahwe. That's thank you for the coffee. Ahwe is coffee. Ala is on or for. In this context, it means for. It doesn't mean on. So thank you, ala el ahwe, the coffee, pronounced with a liaison as thank you, ala el ahwe, or merci, ala el ahwe, or shukran, ala el ahwe. You can also abbreviate the ala and pronounce it a. Shukran, al ahwe, or merci, al ahwe, for example. For you guys, I'm gonna say. Merci a si'itkun. Si'a means trust. Si'a. In standard Arabic, the word is thiqa. Thiqa. But the Lebanese way is si'a. The qaf becomes a a sound. And the th, the fe letter, becomes more like a s. Merci ala si'itkun or si'atkun. So si'a is trust. Si'atkun is your trust. And if you want to say it to one person, you say Merci ala si'atak if it's a guy, Merci ala si'atik if it's a girl. Another way to say thank you is Mashkur. Mashkur, that's masculine. Mashkura, that's feminine. And if it's plural, it's Mashkurin. So Mashkur, Mashkura, and Mashkurin. Mashkur literally means. Uh, you are thanked, the, th the person who is thanked. It's basically the passive participle, mashkur. So that's why when I say mashkur, I'm saying to someone, you are thanked, which means I thank you in a way. 
Another expression uh, that we follow it by thank you usually or shukran or merci is killak zo. Killak zo in the masculine form, in the feminine form it's killik zo, and in the plural form it's kilkon in the plural kilkon zo. So killak literally means all of you. Kill means all. The ak in the end means all of you killak. Zo means taste, the taste in clothes or in anything else. So, for example, if I say zaw ak hello means I mean in, in clothing or in the way you wear, you have good good taste of clothing. So, when I say killak zo, it means you are really you have really good taste, literally, which means it's like you have very nice manners. It means the way you act is really kind, basically. Okay, so merci killak zo if I'm talking to a guy, merci killik zo in the feminine form, and if I'm talking to more than one person, I say merci kilkon zo. Okay, and another expression we really say many times when we are saying thank you is azaptak, merci azaptak. Azabtak literally comes from the word azeb and azeb means torture. So when I say azabtak, literally, literally, it means I tortured you in the masculine form. And azabtik is I tortured you in the, I tortured you in the feminine form. And azabtkun in the plural, if I'm talking to more than one person. I don't literally mean I made someone suffer or I tortured someone, but it's a way to say thank you, I troubled you with me, you know, I, you, you gave your time to me. I think in English we would say thank you, I troubled you. So that's azabtak, azabtik and azabtkun. Another expression is yislamu, yislamu, and it comes uh, from the word Isallim as well, which means may they be in peace or may may they have health. And when I say yislamu, why am I using the o in the end? Them basically, we mean the hands of someone because if somebody does a favor to you, they usually use their hands to do that favor, and that's why we say yislamu, okay, alone sometimes. But the full expression is yislamu. Haddayyit, haddayyit, pronounced as haddayyit. Dayyit is hands, and we use it only in this expression, the word dayyit. We don't usually use dayyit for hands when I'm talking about something else related to hands. I say idin, but in this expression specifically, we say yislamu haddayyit. Thank you for your hands. Usually we say this for someone who helps us with something with their hands. Maybe, for example, if somebody cooks for you, you say Yislamu Haddayyit. Or maybe, I don't know, I was uh, walking home and I had so many bags and somebody helped me to walk to the bus stop with the stuff or something. I can say Yislamu Haddayyit. And it doesn't change whether you're talking to a woman, to a man to uh, more than one person, this expression is fixed. Yislamu haddayyit. Okay? But this expression can change from masculine to feminine if we change the word dayyit. So, for example, I can say to someone, Yislamu idik. May your hands be in health or in peace. Yislamu idik. Idik. So, id is singular. Idik is the plural of your hands. So, id is singular, idin is plural. But when I want to add the ka for, for the masculine, I don't say idinak, no. We say idik, we join them. So, yislamu idik in the masculine form, yislamu idayke. We pronounce it like that, yislamu idayke in the feminine form. And in the plural, we say yislamu idaykun. Yislamu idaykun. And finally, the last expression for today is a very, very warm expression to say thank you, thank you from your heart. It's Ghamartne blutfak. Ghamartne blutfak, that's masculine. Ghamartine blutfik, that's feminine. And in the plural, we say Ghamartune blutfkun. Let's break this down. So, 
غمرت نے بلوت فک غمر از ہی ہگڈ اور یو ہگڈ غمرت نے لٹرلی یو ہگڈ می بی مینز ود لطف مینز کائنڈنیس لطفک مینز یور کائنڈنیس غمرت نے بلوت فک لٹرلی مینز یو ہگڈ می ود یور کائنڈنیس وچ از اے ویری ویری نائس ایکسپریشن ایکچولی اٹس اے وے ٹو سی تھینک یو یو آر ویری ویری کائنڈ And in the feminine form, غمرتینے, you hugged me, غمرتینے, بلطفیق, بلطفیق, the ik sound makes it your in the feminine form. And you don't need to say غمرتینے, بلطفیق, we always make the liaison, غمرتینے, بلطفیق, almost, almost like the b is part of غمرتینے, غمرتینے, بلطفیق. And in the plural form, it's غمرتونے, بلطفکن, The kun means your in the plural. Ramartune blutfkun. So, haida kilshi laliyom. Haida kilshi laliyom. That's it for today. Haida, this, kilshi, everything. Laliyom for today. Haida kilshi laliyom. Merci a kilshi. Thank you for everything. Merci a kilshi. Ubshufkun bukra. Bye. Ma salame. Bye.